In this video, we're talking about age word problems, and these are just an application of what we already know about systems of equations. In this particular problem, we've been told that a man is currently 13 times as old as his son, and that in 10 years, the man will be three times as old as his son, and then we need to find their ages today. So one thing we need to realize right off the bat is that we have two people, a man and his son. We have their ages today, and then we have their ages in 10 years. So one way that we could really effectively organize the information we've been given, we could make a little table and we could say the man and his son like this, and then we could say today and in 10 years from now. And now we wanna find an expression that represents the man's age today and in 10 years and the son's age today and in 10 years. So we know currently that the man is 13 times as old as his son. So just to make it easier on ourselves, let's go ahead and use M for the man's age today and we'll use S for the son's age today. Then for the man's age in 10 years, we'll do 10 plus M. And for the son's age in 10 years, we'll do 10 plus M. S. Now with this in mind, we know that the man is currently 13 times as old as his son. So if we're going to write an equation that represents the relationship between their ages today, we have to say that the man's age today, M, is going to be equal to 13 times the age of the son. Because remember, the man is 13 times as old as his son. So if we're going to write a balanced equation, we have to multiply the son's age by 13 in order to equal the man's age. So we have this first equation, and then we have a relationship between their ages in 10 years. So in 10 years, we know that the man will be three times as old as his son. So if we take the man's age in 10 years, 10 plus m, and then we set that equal to three times the son's age in 10 years, then we have an equation for the relationship between their ages in 10 years. And this makes sense because in order to write a balanced equation this time, we have to multiply the son's age by three in order to get a value that's equal to the man's age since the man is three times as old. So now this is just a systems of equations problem. We have two equations defined in terms of two variables and we could go about solving the system of equations in multiple ways. For example, we could take 13s and we could plug it in for m over here. We could simplify this equation and then add the equations together or subtract them from one another. There are lots of ways to go about doing it. Let's go ahead and first simplify this equation. We'll get 10 plus m is equal to, when we distribute the three across the 10 plus s, we get 30 plus 3s. We'll go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides. That'll get rid of the 10 on the left and we'll get m is equal to 20 plus 3s. Now, as you can see, we have two values that are equal to m. We have m equals 13s and m equals 20 plus 3s. Well, if both of these things are equal to m, then they must be equal to each other. So we can go ahead and take 13s and plug it in for m, and that'll eliminate m, leaving us only with s variables, so 20 plus 3s, and now you can see m's gone and we only have s. Subtracting 3s from both sides to get rid of it over here on the right, we'll be left with 10s is equal to 20, or s is equal to 2. Now with this value s equals 2, we can go ahead and plug it into the equation that we have for m in terms of s over here. So we'll get m is equal to 13 times s, or plugging in s equals 2, 13 times 2. So we say m is equal to 26. So now we have a value for s and a value for m. And remember in our table up here, we said that the man's age today was m and the son's age today was s. So we can say that today the son is two years old and the man is 26 years old. And that fits with our problem because we were told that the man today is 13 times as old as his son. And we know that two times 13 is 26. So that part holds, but let's go ahead and check their ages in 10 years to make sure that we've done this right. So if we go ahead and say that m is equal to 26, then the man's age in 10 years will be 10 plus 26 when we plug the man's age m into this expression here. So 10 plus 26 is going to be equal to 36. The son's age in 10 years is going to be 10 plus his current age s, which we know is 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. So in 10 years, the son will be 12 and the man will be 36. We know that the problem tells us that in 10 years, the man will be three times as old as his son. 12 times 3 does in fact give us 36. 12 times 3 3 equals 36, we get 36 equals 36, and that does check out. So we know that the values we found for the son's age and the man's age today are a real solution to this system of equations because the logic holds up for their ages today and for their ages in 10 years.